Hi, I'm Eric with Matthews, and in this video, we'll take a close look at a Siemens actuator. These actuators are 4 to 20 milliamp actuators, and they're used to control the amount of fuel that goes to your burner. These should come to the factory preset and ready to go, but in case something's not working properly, in this video we'll show you how to identify that and what tools you can use to remedy the situation. So, we'll come and look at our actuator. A few things you'll want to note. On the top of the valve, there's a red indicator that tells you the position the valve's currently in. We can see this valve is close to the 10 degree mark. When we're first starting our dryer, we expect the valve position to be at zero degrees. So right off the bat, this shows me something's not right. To begin troubleshooting, we'll want to go over and take a look at our Pinnacle 2020 screens. Let's do that now. So we're over at our Pinnacle 2020 touch screens. What you'll want to do is take one of your screens and navigate to the control page. We'd like our dryer safety circuit to be latched, our control power is on, but nothing else is running. On the next screen, we'll go to system settings, burner settings, and we'll take a look at our current valve position, 0%. This tells us that when we look at our actuator, we should see the red indicator on the zero degree marker. Now that we've verified that the valve position should be zero and that it's not, we'll go ahead and take the cover off of our actuator. We'll loosen the four screws and pull the cover off. This will expose the inside of our actuator. We've got four wires that we'll want to verify coming to the actuator. We have 120 volt power wires that are right here. These will land with the white neutral wire on terminal 8 and the 120 volt power wire on terminal 9. The other two wires are a green and white signal wire. These will connect in the next green terminal down and we can see the white wire is coming to terminal 1 on the bottom strip. The white wire is underneath on terminal 2. If we verify that we have 120 volts coming to the actuator, but it's not moving to the position it's supposed to be in, the first thing we'll want to look at is the cams that are located on the back side of this actuator. Here we can see multiple colored cams. Each one has a different purpose. The two that we're going to be most interested in are the green for the minimum position and the red for the maximum position. On each cam, there's a white screw as well as an arrow indicating what position it's currently at. We can see that this green cam is currently at zero degrees open, which is where we want it. If this is incorrect, you can use a small screwdriver to turn this white screw and it will adjust the cam location. We'll want to keep this at zero. If this doesn't fix your issue, the next area you can look is underneath the green connector, there are two blue potentiometers. And you'll see min and max. What these allow you to do is adjust the input signal that's coming to the actuator. In this case, we know that we're sending a 0% signal, yet our actuator is not at the zero degree mark. So I'll go ahead and on the minimum potentiometer, I'll begin to turn that screw counterclockwise, and as I do so, our actuator will begin to move. So I'll keep going until my pin is right over the zero degree mark. So those are the main methods of adjustment for this actuator. Again, this shouldn't be normal maintenance that you have to do on an ongoing basis, but if you order a new component or if something stops working, this is a good area to check. I hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.